The highly anticipated First United Nations Environment Assembly at the UN grounds in Gigiri, Nairobi, Kenya is finally on its final touches. While addressing the media, the executive director of UNEP, Akim Steiner, has coughed at the slow progress of policy implementation. Air pollution being termed the greatest health burden after cardiovascular diseases with 8 million deaths recorded annually across the world. Decisions that will address anything from the chemicals agenda, where the world set itself some very significant targets until 2020 and we are far from being able to meet them. We have a major topic also on air pollution coming through an interesting alliance of multiple countries bringing this issue back to UNEP because progress is simply too slow. It's an issue that is re-emerging in the industrialized world as much as it is an acute issue in developing countries. Eight million people annually. If you add pollution from other chemicals and wastes and from waterborne diseases, which are environment related, if you add all of these up together, 10 million people a day are dying from these three environmental causes. And this is more than tuberculosis, malaria, and HIV AIDS combined. Of great concern to the host Kenya and Africa at large will be discussions around illegal wildlife trade that has been on the rise in the last decade, irrespective of big investments and mitigations towards curbing the illegal trade that is estimated at 200 billion US dollars per year. I think we all are victims to underestimating the power of money and you know the ability of a massively wealthier global consumer market can in a country where most people are poor offer a year's income in return for shooting an animal and that i think explains to you that you know corruption weak governance systems and a lot of money to exploit the poverty of some and the corruptibility of others has allowed in the context of the global marketplace for this illegal trade to explode. The Sustainable Development Goals that replace the Millennium Development Goals will take a proactive measure towards development with 17 goals and 215 targets proposed. Deliberations from the discussions will then be forwarded to the UN General Assembly and are expected to be in place by September 2015. The meeting officially starts on Monday the 23rd with the Secretary General of the United Nations Ban Ki-moon expected to officially launch the five-day deliberations that will highly focus on sustainable consumption and production. See, I, I think the key thing here is that that it's no longer just a matter of protecting the environment. It's using the environment, investing in the environment to generate the growth that you want. Henry Miner, GBS News.